Hello guys, so today I'm going to show you how to connect your hosting from your domain. So for example, if you have a domain from 1in1.com or Namecheap or GoDaddy and your hosting provider is from Hostgator like this. So you want to connect that domain from your GoDaddy or Hostway. So all you need to do is to get first the name servers from your cPanel. So first you need to log in from your HostGator cPanel and look or find the name server or the DNS of your cPanel provider or hosting pro provider. So here I already log in from the HostGator cPanel or the hosting provider. So look scroll down you will see from there this is the new ui of the hostgator by the way so scroll down below you will see here the primary name server and the secondary name server so this is the thing you need to copy in order for you to connect the domain that you bought from other domain provider for example hostway so we need to copy this one and then primary and the secondary one make sure you put it in your notepad like this so the next thing you need to do is you log into your domain provider such as GoDaddy, Namecheap in my case I'm going to log into my hostway provider domain provider so this is the layout of the hostway so I'm going to update since I already copied the name server here. So I put it on my notepad so I don't want to go back here. So I already log in. Just click this one, domain name. And then from here, I am going to see the list of the domain I have. So for example, uh, I'm going to update the the worldbossphotographer.com so I'm going to edit this one. So this is the domain. And then copy the first DNS name server. So here you will see the name server. So I already update this one like this. So as you can see, this is the same. I'm sure ns 8103 hostgatorcom like you can see, and the second diary is this one. So it's similar since I already updated this. So if you don't, or if you did not update yet, so just click the edit, and then wait for a couple of seconds. So here you will paste your DNS from your hosting provider, for example, in the C panels that you will see here at the, the right side. Then paste that one to here and then click update. So after update, you will see this one. So updating your DNS or connecting your HostGator's hosting provider or any other hosting provider you put to your domain will take 24 hours to take effect. So after that, since I already connect this one, we're going to add the domain. So by default, this hosting is associated by RalphLasco.com. So by the way, this is my client cPanel. So I'm just creating this video demo for you guys to learn how to connect your host kit. Other so first you need to purchase the host cater unlimited domains so if your host hosting plan from host cater is um, only for one domain so you, you can add another domain so make sure you have unlimited domain for your hosting so the next thing you need to do after you update your DNS from your domain you can close that one and then from here you will need to scroll down a little bit and find the domain 
and then you will see the add-on domain so I'm going to open this one and copy the domain that you wanted so since I updated this world so I'm going to copy this domain that I wanted to add or connect on my hosting provider so here as you can see there's a list of the domain that I already connected so like what I said this is an unlimited package from Oscator. so maybe it is a baby plan that have an unlimited domain so the next thing you need to do is to have this paste the domain that you want click here so if you want to create an FTP access your domain so make sure that you have this one so for example you have admin at one so so that you can access the your website using the filezilla or any FTP access provider so that's it we are not going to demonstrate that one since we are going this tutorial is intended only for connecting your domain to your cPanel or hosting provider so I'm going to uncheck that one since it, but if you want to have that you can check that one so since you have the full access of cPanel you can upload your or install WordPress from cPanel so FTP access only for fixing directories and other stuff such as uh, manual installing of WordPress so click add on domain so wait for a couple of seconds and you will see it below here so oh, success so worldphotographer.com has been added to your account so let's see this is already added so we'll find the domain that we recently add so we're going to see um, I'm going to search it here since I already have a bunch of list of the main that I added. So here, it is already, it is now added on our hosting. So we can now install WordPress or any site you have. So let's try to access this one. So I'm going to paste it here. So as you can see, this is default. For example, if you recently updated the DNS here, so it might not affect the files that you added here in your cPanel. So, as I've said, updating the DNS or connecting DNS uh, domain to your cPanel, I'm sorry, uh, connecting cPanel to your domain and updating the D name server take effect in 24 hours. So just stay back and relax and wait for that time to update the DNS so for example let's see if this the domain that I have already updated is effect so for example I'm going to create a test so this is it so that's it so I'm going to click So, not getting any help. So, I'm going to have a page one. Sorry. So, this is a new added domain from my hosting creator or hosting provider. So, I'm going to close this one. So, since this is already on it. So for example you have a WordPress here so you will see a WordPress installed here so let's try to refresh that one so as you can see the index or the HTML file that they added is not yet viewing here so it means that um, it's not yet populated by their domain or it's not yet completed updating the 
so just wait guys to to update and then you will see the example code or the example text that I added here so that's it so I'm going to show you um the since the domain uh, the this domain is recently updated for around hours ago so going to I am going to show you uh the recent previous or the previous domain I've already updated so this one this is an add-on domain so I'm going to show you and this is a WordPress so I will uh, so this one refuse.com so we will see if this is already uh, so I already kept it so this is also in all ways you will see it here in diffuse.com we're going to I'm going to show you that I connected this with this name server from here so since this is I, I, I already updated the name server for around two days ago so going to and I also I also have a file HTML file here since this domain is for sale so that's you can see I already have an index the CSS design so I'm going to see him see you guys that this is already connected so as you can see this is the style so it is successfully connected so for example I'm going for you to believe that this is connected from I'm going to edit the tab name here so I'm going to add a dot com from the title so I'm going to find that one okay so this is it this is so sure enough this will change since this is connected already so as you can see this is updated right so that's it guys hope you enjoy this simple but yet helpful for you guys thank you for watching bye